the pins today. Right, anyway, we've got to go to the game. The drafts are started. TNC, the legendary dancer himself, Cuckoo, is here ready to play. And uh, we had them up against Virtus Pro, the big CIS giants. Of course, uh, standing in with art style, Solo is on a break at the moment. So we'll see how they do. Let's see what we got. VP. Banning out Earth Spirit. Clockwork. Night Stalker. TNC. Ban out Bane, Wyvern, and Shadow Shaman. First pick they go for is the Tusk. Let's see what VP want to open with. Let's see if there's uh, any sort of difference. If, uh... With, uh, with uh, art style being in there. I mean, I don't know if they've been drafting different. I imagine it's probably largely the same. Now, Shadow Demon will be the pick for VP. Straight up with the combo. SK, Shadow Demon, Sand King to start. And we'll see what TNC take now. As their second pick to open things off. They have Tusk. What else do they want? What else do they want? And it is going to be the Puck that we've seen them play so many times. Because they're very, very good with it. The TNC Puck. I could always expect a few Pog Champs to come out with that. Fourth band now for VP. And uh, Tinker, another one of the uh, TNC specialities, the TNC Tinker. Oh, we're certainly looking to just take away the, the heroes that are going to be really nice with the puck. Morphling, actually, uh, okay, going to be the one that they opt for. One of those carries that TNC is really good with. And of course, Luna banned out. I see the Shadow Demon. They don't want the chance of VP getting their hands on SD Luna. Especially, uh, being that, yeah, VP, they've got a pretty good Luna player. Ramses is he's pretty hot on the old Luna. I'll see what they take here. Probably going to be Pasha's hero. Unless they do do the uh, Sanking offlane, which is, which is unlikely. It's more than likely to be Lil moving around with Art Star. What's those two supports to start with? What do they want to take for Pasha? As decent selection of offlane heroes still in the pool. Mainly the uh, supports, mids and carries being focused. In fact, pretty much entirely. So Pasha, he's got a he's got a beautiful game here. They can take whatever they want for the offlane. And uh, well, going into their bonus time as well. Looks like the the amount of decisions, the amount that the amount of heroes they have to decide between gives them a lot of trouble. They're like, what should we take? What should we take? Well, they're taking all the time. Rip bonus time. Apparently, says VP. So as I say, they have got a lot of choices. I really wanted to make sure that they get it right. Going right down to under one minute left of reserve time. Whatever this is going to be, it's, it's taken a long, hard think about for VP. What are they going to go for? It's going to actually be the Venge pickup. Okay, so uh, maybe addressing the fact that the cores were being banned over the, the offlane. They're going to leave the offlane pick till later. And they'll take Ramsey's the support Vengeful Spirit. As you would imagine, they could still swap it around with having the SK core and Venge SD support combo. Second support for TNC. It is going to be the Ogre Magi. 
So we'll see what they uh, take on TNC. They do want that sort of big, bloodlustable core. Five seconds remaining. To be played by uh, either Cuckoo or Raven. Uh, probably not Cuckoo, you, you imagine the puck to be there. So Raven, Raven's hero. We'll see what they go for that. On fourth pick for VP. Back to them, back to see what cores they take and to give us a little bit more information on where these heroes are going to be placed and who's going to be playing what. I think the chat, you guys called out Razor. I think that is a definite possibility for TNC. They do like their Razor. And it would work very nicely with both the Tusk and the Puck and the Ogre Magi. Razor is definitely a high possibility. Medusa as well, still left in the pool. Another one that both teams are are very strong with. Alchemist. I know in the past TNC did used to play the Alchemist, but I have not seen anyone play the Alchemist recently. Has even TNC been playing Alchemist recently? I feel like no teams have been playing Alchemist. And there it is. I don't think there was any surprises there, ladies and gentlemen. It is Razor for TNC. We saw it, I saw it, you saw it coming. Always was going to be Razor here at this stage. Classic TNC draft. Ten seconds remaining. VP's final bam. Five seconds remaining. Our deuce is still there. TNC. It's going to be the sniper. Let's take it out instead. Yeah, I imagine... Do, do we think this is going to be the offlane puck or the mid puck for TNC? Obviously, with that ban from VP, VP are expecting it to be the offlane puck. I mean, I'd be down to see TNC put the puck offlane and, and take something like Medusa and put that in the middle lane. VP also still looking for, for no one's hero. They could go full in on the sort of the push, the early auras and... And get something. Well, I mean, I was going to say like the DK, but then you, you're worried about if TNC make the move, they could try and position the rage in the mid against him. I think Puck mid for sure. Yeah. Ah, uh, some people are thinking Medusa. Some people are saying, yeah, Kuku Medusa, Sam H, Puck. I think, I think both could work. The final ban for TNC. Let's see what it will be. As oh yeah, we would imagine it's still no one's hero to be picked and yeah. TNC ban out the storm and they are gonna pick the PL. So this is probably going to be the mid PL, I would imagine, right? That uh TNC are pretty hot on. Broodmother, the final pick though for Ramses. And yep, Sam H Puck, Cuckoo will be playing the PL in the mid. And uh 1437 Ogre, Tim's Tusk. So yeah, they take that sort of the hard carry into the mid lane. But there is a Broodmother in the game. Now, the Broodmother could cause issues if TNC aren't able to keep on top of it at the start. The spiders could certainly get scary. I'll see what happens here, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, mid-venge. That's a different one. No one will be playing the Vengeful Spirit. Oh boy. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen, as we get stuck into this. Well, we'll do it. I know you guys sort of complain about these little overlays. I'll make I'll make them smaller for you. For you lads in chat. So they're a little less in the way. There we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the game. This is VP versus TNC. I'm OD Pixel, and we'll do a quick rundown of both the sides over on the side of Virtus Pro. Actually, gonna have a little playing the Shadow Demon and Art Star playing the Sand King. Pasha, the offlane Brewmaster. No one, as we imagine, on the Vengeful Spirit. Ramses is gonna set up the webs towards the middle, but we'll see where they do end up going. Over down towards the bottom, TNC grouped up. Raven's gonna be playing his Razor, Cuckoo's PL, Tim's Tusk. 1437 on the Ogre Magi, and last but not least, Sam H on the Puck. Deep movement here from TNC, 
as uh, they are actually going to avoid one another. They may get VP on the way back into their half of the map. We'll see if VP are aware of this. TNC on the high ground and we'll be able to keep control of this rune spot. As they'll move in. They should be able to take this damage. Trying to see if he can secure both of the runes. It's got to be a little careful with both Noah and Artstyle here. They've got the magic missile. Into the Burrow Strike, Sam H taking a lot of damage. He has the orb. Oh, <coughs> the snowball. It's actually going to cause issues because he was in the snowball. He couldn't jump out to the orb, but it's okay for TNC because they got the first blood still. They killed no one and they'll get Lil as well. He'll disrupt himself, trying to buy time, but TNC will claim both of these. Cuckoo, he wants it. It would be the dream if he can get it, but they're not going to mess around. Tim's commits with the snowball. And they will be able to get both of the kills. So a little bit of a whiff up there trying to save the puck. But it ends up working out at the end of the day. They get the two kills. Two for one. TNC will see where they're heading with the lanes. They're going to put what Tims and Sam H down towards the bottom. Tims. Already dealing with a bit of a bit of a spot of bottom. It's Lil and Art start. Go into him. He's sort of trying... Ooh. Pause. I mean, I'm pretty sure that... Alright, we're back in, guys. Can you hear me? OD Pixel to World. Are you guys there? Can you hear me? Is it working? Is it working? Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Hello? OD Pixel to World. Are you guys alive? Are you hear me? Good, we're back in. I said, I don't know what happened there, guys and girls. It said I it said I didn't drop any frames, so I think it must have just been a, a strange glitch that Twitch had. Top lane. VP. They're in onto Raven. Raven in a lot of trouble. He'll try and run it off. He's got a tango and a branch, and he's actually turning, putting quite a bit of punching in onto Arstar. Oh, it's going to be close. Not close enough, though. Raven will fall. So what did you guys miss? You, you guys missed what well, TNC did get a kill down bottom. It's four for four, as you can see. In terms of the lane situation, mid lane, Kuka's doing fine. 28 CS against the 18 of Ramses. That help from the Ogre at the start, certainly helping out. Sam H down bottom, struggling a bit in CS. But uh, he's uh, keeping the pressure up on no one. Now towards bottom, Lil claims himself the bounty room. The fire blaster set up for the gap closer with the orb. And the shards as well. Oh no, the shards! They didn't get the block off, but it looks like they should still get the kill. They snowball over them straight into the backside of Lil and take down the Shadow Demon. Same time mid lane. Artstyle comes in with a rotation, looking towards Cuckoo. Opens up with the Burrow Strike and the new Cuckoo will get taken down in return. Again, sort of these one-for-one one trades. Now Ramsey's bit of space to put some pressure onto this tier one tower. Fourteen thirty-seven. That man's in trouble. Art style giving the slow and painful rundown. He will have Burrow Strike back up in a second. He'll go in. Hey, he's a tanky boy. He's a big boy, that ogre. Oh, and in fact, with Tim's. He 1437, I think he's going to be big enough to walk this off. He is going to be fine. And now Artstyle, he's the one in an awkward position. He has no mana. Sam H and Tim's looking to play around with him for the maximum amount of time. They orb forward. They'll snowball in. Artstyle will get taken down. TNC get the kill. On this top lane, 21 for 6, 14 for 5. Raven having the edge at the moment. The static link helping him win this lane. Despite the... Uh, the mischances chances being annoying. No one is actually going to TP straight up to the top. So they're moving this Vengeful Spirit around. Forcing Raven away. Bottom lane. Artstyle getting a lane to himself. So he can start to get some of that solo experience. Cuckoo. Managing to farm up a fair few of the spiders as well as it seems. He's 42 for 1. <coughs> Another pause here from VP. Sam H. He's 
preparing to get himself out of there if he need be is he was getting low on the bottom lane rotation from the supports of tnc comes through Tim's on 1437. They've got eyes on to Lil. Shards won't fully block him, but they do push him off to the side. With Raven rotating around, this for sure is going to be a dead Shadow Demon as TNC will claim another kill. Raven getting it as well with style. Unstable current finishes the job. Let's see if they can close the gap onto no one. Oh, the shard block, <sighs> not quite there. Tim's just off the mark with a few of these shards today. It's a little uncharacteristic of Tim's. He's normally... Hitting them every single time. I'm sure we'll see him step it up, but just uh, just missing the missing the mark each time. Mid lane. Whoa, jeez. Oh, with that medallion. Puck just gets melted by the spiders. Tim's comes in. Look of a response. Trying to clean up some of these spiders. Hasn't quite got the damage to burst them down, and now Tim's is in trouble. They just move straight in onto the tusk. Tim's is gone. Double kill for Ramses. Cuckoo. Trying to get himself out of that. He's got to run. He's got to hide. He will be fine. There's not quite enough mana for another Burrow Strike to come through. Now 1437. Seeing if he could bring down Artstyle. Artstyle very low at the moment. Back towards mid. Raven at the link. Onto Ramses. They'll close the gap. This is a very high value kill and they'll take it. Ramses is taken down. Uh, the spiders. Oh no. The spiders are too spooky. The spiders turn and take Raven's life. Right after they take... They lose the life of their own mother. The children rise up. And get the vengeance that they're after. 8 for 8. 2k lead at the moment for VP. Where do they head now? Pasha, level 7. Sam, still love it. suffering in the levels a little bit on the puck. Had to share the lane earlier. Just level 4 at the moment. Moving up towards the top lane. Let's see what they can get eyes on here. VP trying to make the play. They'll move in with the bow strike. Wave a tear onto Tim's. He'll buy himself some time with the with the snowball, but he's falling low. He needs help and he needs it now. Raven coming in. Oh, the mad! Oh, he's gonna live, is he? No, the poison will be enough. They do take him down. The infused ranger nearly saving him there from the damage from Magic Missile. Our star. He's deep. He's gonna have Burrow Strike back up in a second. Can he escape this one? No, he can't. Actually walks straight back into them, gives his life up. So another trade, one for one. I mean, this game, every time we see a kill one way, we see the other way around. Get the net worth up so we can see how that's affecting the game. Ramses is a number one at the moment on his spider. Cuckoo second on the board. And a very rich brewmaster, Pasha. Getting a lot from his solo lanes that he's been given. And it's going to be an early blink dagger on the brew. Top lane, swap back onto Raven. Raven does have 1437 with him. Boris Strike from Artstyle is actually going to miss. So Raven's given a bit of a chance to back off and run away. And the disruption onto no one. A heavy static link if they can get Raven back in to do the damage. But he has to be careful. Artstyle's still there with the Sandstorm. Pasha and 1437 having a bit of a go at one another. 1437 will fall. Raven try to turn. Oh, he gets the kill. He's going for the TP out. Is he going to make it? Oh, Raven. He gets out of there. So Raven will get the kill and get out. That was a close one there indeed. Top lane. Pasha. He's got the ult. And he is going to go straight away for a kill onto 1437. And there is not much this ogre can do about this primal split just beating into the poor old ogre. 1437 is down. VP with the smoke, looking to follow up for more kills up top. TNC themselves, they're making the moves down bottom. Three heroes with their eyes onto no one, wanting to punish this venge. They've closed the gap with the snowball shards, block him in as well. And with a good duration of static link, no one is gone. TNC claim the life of the Venge. Back towards the jungle, though, of TNC. VP are on the hunt, and they've found Cuckoo. Cuckoo trying to escape with the doppelganger. He's trying to juke them away with the illusions. Are they going to fall for it, though? They kind of are. Ramses went towards the illusions. They will still find the real one here with the disruption, and they do still get the kill despite Cuckoo's best attempts to juke them away. Our bottom tower. 
And a bit of trouble. Same time VP are pushing in on mid and Ramsey's net worth is, is skyrocketing. He's closing in on that relic. TNC will lose the top lane. 1437 gets the deny. No one getting some space down bottom. Lil making the moves around to get the ward down. Sam H. Treads. 850 gold towards Blink Dagger. Who wishes to go for it first. And TNC have to be so careful around this spider. Six kills on Ramsey so far. The spider is deadly. There we go. To the bottom lane they move. TNC are ready to come with a response. They're smoked up. They're looking to fight. No. Quick disruption. Holds back Raven. TP out from art style. Raven popping the drums. Trying to chase this down. Pasha does have the primal split back up. So hard for them to make a move onto him. Pasha, in fact, he's going to make a move onto them. Jumps straight in onto Raven. Raven needs help and he needs it now. And it's not going to be here soon enough. Raven taken down. No one swaps him back to his death. Cuckoo should be able to find Lil as a return kill. They'll get something in, in terms of the trade. The Primal Split, though, still hunting down 1437. They've got the Magic Missile. Claim the Ogre Magi. Two for one. VP getting the two kills. More space for Ramsey's. Very close to having Relic complete. An art stop. Heads up top. And works his way towards his blink dagger. Mid lane. They did trap in the spiders. Not quite enough damage to kill them all, but maybe they can kill the spider himself. The fire blast onto Ramses. Trying to heal himself up with the ultimate lifesteal. And if that Sam's in trouble, gets slapped down immediately. The physical damage too high. Disruption holding back Raven. Raven trying to move in. Looking towards Pasha. Pasha quickly blinks himself away. Sharp block again. It's not quite there. Tim's unable to trap Lil. As Lil will still be chased. Sharp block this time it's on point. Tim's redeems himself. Does get the catch this time round. And they will claim the kill. Pings on to no one. I want to make a go for this. Wave of Terror, work of the vision. He knows what's up. Oh, it wasn't just the relic. This is the completed radiance on Ramses. That is pretty terrifying. It's a quick, quick radiance for the spider. Keep pinging on no one. They, they really want to try and do something about this Venge, but they, they've had trouble the last few times. No one being very cautious in his positioning, keeping backed up behind the tower each time a rotation comes through. Raven still needs a bit of space to catch back up in the farm. And the spider is going to be very hard to deal with. Bottom lane. Tim's. And Sam H around. Sam H getting closer and closer towards his Blink Dagger. Vlad's to be finished up by Pasha. Adding to the auras for VP. And there is the Blink for Art style. So they've got to be very careful about this sanking, Ready to jump around and make the plays happen. Cuckoo. Treads. Yeah, sure. He's on par with Pasha's farm. And uh, he's ahead of no one. Keeping himself ahead of VP's carry. Well, I say no one being VP's carry. Of course, Ramses is the VP carry. He's just having to be positioned in the mid lane. And Ramses is far, far ahead. VP heading into the pit. We'll see if TNC look to contest this. They'll continue down bottom. We'll get the tier 1 tower. And with that, I think VP are going to get away with this one for free. Mm. 
They will find it. Roshan is down. They claim the kill. Sam H. Backing off. Backing away. He has got the blink. And there it is. Quick blink from Sam H. Just in the... The right moment of time to get out of there. One lane, Tim's keeping the pressure on, shoving in these waves. VP grouped up behind no one, ready to get a large scale push together behind them. Ramsey's just consistently sweeping through the jungle of TNC, taking everything he can from them. And he's actually just going to waltz up and start putting some pressure on the tower. Pushing in with the spiders, forcing Tim's to back up and come in with some sort of reaction. This will be the tier 2 going down. Tier 2 tower to fall. TNC trying to get a fight going. Ramsey's falling incredibly low, but they couldn't quite finish him. The Primal Split comes out. Burrow Strike catches out Cuckoo into the boulder from the Primal Split. And that's Cuckoo down for 45 seconds. And they go up to the high ground. Fortification out from TNC. If they try and do their best to hold back VP, but 1437 is just getting beaten down upon by Pasha. Pasha. Just owning this game. Art Styles in with the epicenter. Burrow Strike onto Raven. There is the snowball save. TNC trying to turn things around. Look at the silence onto three. Raven forced back. Art Style will fall. VP lose Lil as well. Ramsey's getting low. Can they kill the spider? They can kill him once. Can they deal with him a second time? That's the question. They're going to look to try. Silence is there. Jump forward from Pasha. He's looking towards Tim. Pasha will take the Tim's kill. Ramsey's and no one and Pasha still alive. They're pushing no one. Finds the magic missile. Sam H has Dreamcore back up in 10. Jumping forward. Looking to finish off this Venge. Cuckoo as well looking to commit. Got the illusions out. Ramsey's moving in. Clearing them out with the Radiance. Pasha blinks in. Not going to get the right target. Cuckoo. Oh, he walks back into it. He comes back in. Loses his life. Now VP will start to back up. There's been a buyback from Tim's. Rolls down. Trying to chase down the spider with the burst. They will finally kill Ramsey's. Lots of money for Sam H as they do put an end to the spider's reign. And they do hold the base, TNC. Still a 7k lead for VP. TNC have proved that they, they can kill the spider. But with the buybacks, what they did have to buy back on Cuckoo and Tim's for that defense. So not a cheap defense for TNC. Raven. Drums and force complete. On to the Shiva's guard next. Cuckoo with that buyback will be set back a little bit on his way towards having the, the Manta star. A little. Oh, this Invis rune is setting up for the info. Onto Raven. He's already used the force. They're going to commit for this uh, for sure as they go in with the Burrow Strike. The Epi as well. Oh, Raven? Not going to make it out with the TP. No one's there with the Magic Missile. That's Raven down for 45. TNC lose another of their cores. Bottom lane, Tims. He's got a bit of a panda issue. So that will force him back. He's going to be okay. Has the Vanguard complete. So he's fairly beefy now on the Tusk. And will be able to TP back to base. Jump forward. Silence. Onto Ramsey's. Ramsey's now with the BKB, though. Very hard to deal with with the BKB and lifesteal he can get from the ultimate. Got a magic missile. Onto Tim's. Clearing out the waves with the Illusory Orb. Ramsey's trying to commit. I do get the Boris Punch. And this robot. Can they change? Stun him down. It's going to be close. Oh, oh, no one. Swaps Ramsey's back to safety. Gives him time to BKB. Pop the ult. Moves back in for a bit of lifesteal. They were so close to being able to kill the spider. But they just couldn't do it. Ramses will survive. Sam H hits the sideline on Puck. The spider is too spooky. As it seems, 10 2 and 2 on Ramses. One of those heroes that any team has to be scared of in these best of ones. Always a high chance to sort of that cheese pick, that last hero gets in the draft and causes issues. And uh, VP finding the, the brood this game. It's making the game very difficult for TNC. On 
23 to 16, 12k lead at the moment for VP. Mid lane. The spiders are approaching. What can TNC do about it? They will see Pasha on the side. Pasha jumping in, thinking about popping the Primal Split. Playing around with 14370, tries for the TP, but Artstyle's there with the Burrow Strike, and that's 1437 down. VP, play it safe, go for the objectives. No, go for this shrine. Shrine is down, VP. Ready to move in and try and push up to the base. Solar Crest complete for the spider. TNC, how can they hold? Yours is complete for Puck. Got an extra bit of catch, set up an escape. Manta style. Now finish as well for Cuckoo, so he's got that extra bit of chance if he does get jumped on. To try and juke out and cause confusion with the illusions. Have shrine to shrine, VP just taking the objectives. It's all going to kick off soon, you can feel it, you know. When this high ground push comes in, TNC will give it their all. The question is if that's going to be enough at this stage with the, the power that this spider has reached. 40, 15k net worth on Ramses. It's getting scarier and scarier. Got the Crimson Guard complete on Tim's and Crimson Guard of course doing... Will do a lot against the spiders as they move in. TNC actually approaching the spotter lane as a three man. Cuckoo will be spotted out as Lil catches him with the poison. Ramsey's getting ready to push in on mid. Getting ready to shove back TNC. And TNC already starting to be a little apprehensive about how they go along on this bottom lane. Pasha jumps forward. And he's only going to find illusions. So keep themselves out of harm's way. Mid lane Tim's trying to get the grab onto Ramsey's, but he's a little too speedy with the web movement speed. They're trying for some sort of a wraparound. Cuckoo coming in from the side. We'll see if they can spot out Ramses. He's up there by the neutrals. Again, this free pathing from the webs, making it very hard for them to trap the spider. Time for a smoke for VP. As they head over and look to join up with Ramses. Let's see what they can find here. Leading in, they've got the jump, Burrow Strike straight away, Tim's, he needs help, he needs it now, he's got no snowball for 10 seconds, pops the Crimson Guard, will be forced back, but Pasha jumps in with the clap, that's going to be Tim's down for 80 seconds, they've got the swap back, Burrow Strike, control onto Raven, that's Razor down as well, he does have buyback and will buy back immediately, but they're going to have to try and hold 4 versus 5, and there's a lot of push coming in from VP, 1437 getting stunned up, Cuckoo trying to deal with them, but the Burrow Strike's out, they're going to lose the Ogre Magi, Raven trying his best to turn, they get the 4-man Dream Coil, but Cuckoo just gets melted by the damage that Ramses can offer. Three heroes down on TNC, VP cleaning up the mid lane of Rax, the dive continues, and GG well played is called, VP will take this game, VP looking to be very strong, and the Brood Mother pick, ladies and gentlemen, Let's get some Monkeress in the chat for that one. As that brood was terrifying. Ramses. The scary, scary spider. And we have it, ladies and gentlemen. So it's VP versus TNC. Thank you for joining me for that one. Let's see what we've got next on the schedule. Next on the schedule, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, LFY. So, uh, interested to see these lads. One of the top in China versus VGJ Storm. Is anyone is anyone ready for some more mid lane terror blade? I, I'm, I'm sure LFY are. They're 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 going to be loving it if they see it. We may get the mid lane terror blade next.